Hi you guys, it's Melanie and welcome to my messy home office. If you guys are here for the very first time, I would like to welcome you to Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. Today we are going to be cleaning and organizing um, my hub, which is the home office, it is an absolute mess. If you guys are just joining me, then I've already done quite a bit of organizing around the house. I will link those videos uh, at the end of this video and down below. And for the for those of you guys who have been along for the ride, you know that we've already organized the kitchen, we've organized my closet, we have turned my event planning closet into a shoe boutique, and so much more that I've not even gotten to share with you guys. So today I wanted to do a little motivation, uh, real life motivation with you guys. I know a lot of clean with me videos, you're like, oh my gosh, what did they really clean? And with me, it's like when I have a mess, it is a complete mess. And when I'm organizing, it seems like things get worse before they get better. Like, I the whole initiative was for me to clean up a mess and not to create an even bigger mess but I guess it's just like some other things in life you know things tend to get worse before they get better but if you stick through it the end is going to be absolutely beautiful so when I started um, organizing the event planning closet and turning it into a shoe closet and if you haven't seen that video you guys need to check that out I have some really cool uh, Dollar Tree ideas and budget friendly ideas on how to organize your shoes and boots but when I did that I found all these things that you know kind of landed on my desk you guys know so I had to create a pile of things like right now those are just like my prayer books and books that I'm reading then I had to create a pile for pencils I had to create a pile for things that didn't belong to the office at all and then I had to create a pile um, of like items and items that needed to be completely purged out of our home office so what you see right now is a complete mess, but we're going to make it into something beautiful. I hope that you guys find tons of inspiration and motivation as you clean and decorate the home office with me. We're going to also do a home office tour. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and be inspired. So let's get started with my first tip and that is to listen to something or someone that is motivational or inspirational. I am actually cleaning up the home office at the same time I'm listening to our Wednesday night Bible study. So finding someone, you know, um, on YouTube or a local church that's hosting um, Bible study online is a great, great, great way to be inspired as you clean and as you organize your home uh, during this time that we are quarantined or at any any other time. So I just I just thought that was a really um, good way to just kind of get into the mood of organizing and decorating your home. So once you got your motivational piece there, if you even you can even listen to an ebook or you know anything like that. So once you got that in place, it is time to get to work. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. Now that brings us to tip number two, and that is to do it right then. Doing it right then is definitely an amazing way to champion the spirit of procrastination. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really bad to procrastinate. 
something or put a task off until later only to forget about what I was supposed to do or not do it at all. So even though this first aid kit actually belongs in our kitchen and in our bathroom, I decided to go ahead and pull everything together since most of the pieces were already in our home office. And so by me doing it right then, I did not add to the additional clutter. I was able to take away from the clutter pile and go ahead and do that particular task. And so this will help you as well. So if you are decluttering or organizing a space and you find something that goes in another room, going ahead and taking that item to the other room and putting it where it needs to be will actually aid in you getting through your cleaning and organizing process a lot easier a lot swifter without interrupting the flow of your spaces that have already been done so i hope you guys enjoyed that tip and that is to do it right then Okay, you guys, so this brings me to my third and final tip, and that is to finish it off. So many times we start a cleaning or an organizing job and we get really, really tired and we stop or we quit in the middle or we just throw in the towel and whatever we have left, we kind of conceal it, whether it's in a closet or in a desk drawer or whatever the case may be. So I think that during this time, I think it's great to practice um, finishing it off, putting all the finishing touches in place. Go ahead and dust and do all of those meticulous task that you don't necessarily enjoy doing because now you have the time to be able to do that so I'm just going to take some pledge and go over um, my desk area I'm going to dust I'm going to deep clean I'm going to mop I'm going to do all the things that I typically don't have the opportunity to do when my schedule is a lot busier with planning designing and decorating events so yeah definitely finish it off
Okay, so this is such a fun memory. I came across this article. I was in our local newspaper and they did an article about me being a local new to YouTuber. And uh, the title of the article was Less is More. And um, I just really enjoyed it. And one of the things that really stood out to me is that my office is also featured in this article. So funny. And it looks the exact same way. I love color and I just, you know, um, kind of stick to that. So hope you guys enjoy the full reveal and the final tour of my office. door on the right side of my desk you would be greeted with all of this beautiful shoe organization in my shoe boutique I do plan on doing some different things um, as time goes on but right now this these are the resources that I have one fun thing that I've been able to do is kind of pair outfits with the shoes that I have already and I really enjoy it I actually had this dress uh, monogram right before we were um, the stay at home order was put in place and it came in so I can't wait to wear it this summer with a big floppy hat and what I'm doing is just simply taking photos I know this is going to probably tell you guys how bored I really am but what I'm doing is taking photos of the outfit with the shoes and the earrings so when it's time for me to get dressed I don't have to be like overly concerned about what I'm going to wear and what to put with it so yeah Anyway, I I know you guys probably don't care about that, but I probably have about 16 full outfits put together um, at the time I filmed this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers!